firing up the stream and then get some Q here. Hopefully if we get two quick games, I'm gonna do two. I still need to try to squeeze in squats before I go to sleep, but that didn't take very long. Let's do a little bit. I'm trying to crank some more. I did. Dead, I'm trying to do deadlifts and squats on the same day, but yeah. I space it out like four or five hours or something. Yeah. Try to recover a little bit, but I gotta step the step the legs up a bit. So I don't have like a lot of fancy machines or anything. All I really have are like you know just compounds basically the squats and deadlifts which it's probably good enough to get some decent results I just got to make sure I'm putting doing them both yeah <clears throat> I don't think there's any like crazy new trends I need to do a new uh, tier list and everything too hey what's up Black Falcon how you doing man good to see you gamer night uh not really i wish it's gonna be like old man trying to sneak in one or two games night i think a gamer night man that's at least four hours dude i don't even know if i could <laughs> like when i'd be able to do that might be sometime i could whenever you do it let me know so i can do it with you <laughs> okay i guess the real og gamer would be like you know 10, 12, hours. yeah, plus hours, something like that, yeah, a lot. I was going to say 6 to 8. What's up, Todd? Yeah, I mean, that's quite a bit, too. I think even when I was doing the channel quite a bit, I don't think I ever averaged over 4 or 5. And that was with one kid who was an infant, so basically slept all the time at that point, and only I'll teaching two classes. Do you remember... No. So we were like, What did I do? It was fucking like five in the or four or something in the morning, dude. <laughs> the only reason why That's crazy. I remember is because I got like no sleep because we literally, like, I like got off to go like try to sleep for like an hour and then I got up and my wife kept pacing around the house and then she, her water finally broke. <laughs> okay. That's Dang, that's crazy. Remember. Yeah, I could stay up late when I didn't have to get up and take the kids to school. I mean, I could still stay up a little bit later if Sandra would take the kids into school, but she'd have to get up earlier then. And it feel, There's such a discrepancy in our income that it feels like <laughs> I should probably be the one biting the bullet to uh, get up earlier to take them in, but... I mean, she does have to get up anyways, and I don't. It would make my life a lot easier for this, but... I give her... I'll help her out. Let her sleep in an extra, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. I mean, I can go back to sleep after I drop them off. I just don't get, like, continuous sleep, which is not obviously as good as continuous sleep. I have to get up. You know, it's basically an hour. Get up, get everybody ready, get them out of the house, drive there, drive back. That's what I've been doing lately is I'll just, you know, get up at 7, get everybody to school. I get back around like 8.15 or something, go back to sleep for like two or three hours, then get up and prep for my class for an hour and then, <laughs> and then go to class. So I basically split my sleep schedule, not exactly in half with that, but close. I'll sleep for like three or four hours. Well, I guess a lot of times I go to sleep between like, I'll get off here and then I'll usually eat something and work out again and then I'll go to sleep at like two or something. Sometimes I'll just pass out if I'm really tired. I don't know, I've got a, not an amazing way that my sleep is divvied up but it usually gets, and you add everything up, it gets to be somewhere around seven or eight hours, so. I didn't really get a 
nap today. A lot of times I'll take a nap from like 8 to 11, 10 30, something like that. 9 to 11, just somewhere in that window. I usually try to get at least a couple hours. But I had conferences all this weekend, and man, I went to like a main event. I don't know if you guys have those around. It's kind of like a Dave and Buster's. Yeah, no, we have one. Okay, yeah. So I mean, they do a lot of stuff, but dude, it was expensive. Hey, what's up, Visigoth? Can't imagine how much it is now to get one of those. Oh my god, do the arcade games. We went to a kid's birthday party. And they're supposed to give out like these little game cards. It's probably like five dollars each for the kids. They did bowling, they did several things, but um, I don't even know, like birthday party's probably insane. It's probably like $75 a kid or something. Maybe not that much, but I, I don't know, it, maybe. Um, so I had to get a game card myself just because they ran out or somebody got two or something like that, I don't know. But Rory really wanted to play, so like, okay, I'll get a $5 game card or whatever. And um, Dude, a lot of those games were like a dollar fifty, like minimum, like the cheapest stuff we could find, and it's like one life. It, it was crazy. So she would like play a game, and it would literally last for less than two minutes, <laughs> on like a dollar fifty, and then that was it. So she got to play like three things, and there was one like VR stuff that they had. It was like five dollars a play, and it probably would have lasted two minutes too. But I told her, I said, oh my god. Dude, the teams were fine. It is kind of a skill issue, but yeah, I mean, she's like six. <laughs> so I was like, well, we can play this one game or we can play three different games. And she was like, okay, three different games. But that's crazy. There, there's like an, I mean, I know the presentation there is a lot better, but there's an arcade, like a barcade literally down the road that where we go a lot that's pretty cool and a lot of their games are like literally a quarter like old school like Royal like to play the Simpsons game on there this old school Simpsons game from the 90s and it's a quarter for three lives like it's like at least five minutes per quarter so it's just like a way better bargain and then they have like a Dance Dance Revolution kind of game there that's like 50 cents a play they have a, a new Minecraft game there that's a dollar a play for three lives, and I thought that was, like, turbo expensive. But they also have a bunch of, like, consoles and stuff that you can literally play for free. If nobody's playing it, you just ask them, and they'll give you a control. And there's, like, TVs kind of, like, hanging down from the ceiling, and there's all kinds of stuff, because they want you in there playing so you're, you know, drinking while you're playing. <clears throat> and eating. Their food's not that expensive. The drinks are, like, kind of expensive, but not really. Just kind of, like, I guess a little below average if you go to a nice place around here, but. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty sweet, Faded. That's cool. Yeah, there was a place in uh, Ohio, this abandoned mall. I don't remember. It's kind of next to a Red Lobster. Yeah, that might have been it. It was like close to, um, it's close to the loop or whatever, that highway. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's like a Red Lobster there and a like. That, that, that whole like mall. Yeah. About is completely turned out. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was just about done. There were like yeah. four stores in it or something, but one of them that was surviving was like an arcade and it was like a deal kind of like that. It was like. 10 or 15 bucks, I don't remember how much, but just kind of like play all day. Um, and they did some other stuff too, but that was pretty cool. So Andrew and I went in there and there's this video game I never beat back in the day that they used to have at this uh, laser tag place, Gauntlet Legends. Um, just old school, pretty cool, just pretty basic hack slash, you know, arcade game, but I like never beat it. And then Sandra's like, we're beating it. And I was like wanting to give up after a little bit. But then she's like, no, we're going to keep going. It was like three hours or something. And it calculated up. We would have spent like $70 on it in quarters. <laughs> but because it was because it was play all day, 
for ten dollars we beat it and then it was like wow you beat it you know mail such and such to somewhere and get a free t-shirt or something Sanders like we got to do it and I'm like honey look and like said offer expires like December 31st 1998 or something <laughs> so I was like yeah that's that's probably no good anymore I think they have a newer version of it um, or like Gauntlet Legends 2 or something at the barcade we just haven't played it yet but that, like, the arcade version, I think there was a console version of that game, too, but um, the arcade version, your health, like, you had so much health, and your health would literally tick down over time. So it's like, even if you were doing well, you were still gonna die. You could get health power-ups, but... Yeah, you were, you were gonna spend a lot of money on that thing. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think the arcade machines are kind of making a comeback. I've seen, like, many arcade machines on sale at just, like, um, uh, where the fuck? Best Buy. And a couple other random places will just, like, have arcade machines. And this place rotates them out. Hey, if you come down in the summer, I'll take you out there, Jason. It'll be fun. Kids will probably like it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I already got three of them scheduled in like two days, so like I got like a week and four or five other days to just fuck around with. Nice. Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah, that'll be definitely be kind of near the top of the list. Let's check that place out. Okay. So, yeah, that'd be cool. She said she's coming like, <laughs> like on Friday to Monday. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just let me know. We'll make it happen. Wizard needs health badly. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it said a lot of the time. I think I always picked like the archer. Like they had like a barbarian. It's standard. Like does a lot of damage in melee. The archer does more damage range. And they had the wizard. You could pick up magic and the wizard like made your magic stuff do a lot more damage. And I think they, ha I think there was a fourth one. It was like Valkyrie that had a lot of armor. I feel like Valkyrie might end up being the best one, but I don't know. I always always picked Archer. Oh, fucking Soraka, oh, that's so obnoxious. Yeah, just farm it off. Yeah, Turbo knows what I'm talking about, though. Have you done uh, any of the Sunken Temple right? Yeah, the Elf lets you spam attacks. I just... Yeah, Elf was fast. Spam attacks. Probably had low armor. I don't remember the exact stat. You know, what you would expect of an Elf most of the time. But she had a really cool, like, ultimate if you had enough. I think there was, like, some gauge you filled up. And then if you press it, it just, like... You pulled out some crazy-ass weapon and just blew everything up. It was, it was a pretty sweet game, especially for the time. Man, that was a sweet summer back in the day. That was got to be one of my favorite summers. Or just times, in general. I don't have shield. Oh my god. It was like sophomore year when I was really on it in high school. I was like playing Magic all the time. I'd go to the card shop, like two or three days a week and then I'd go play like laser tag for at least twice a week um and they had a sweet deal back then if you were a member or whatever it was like $15 for three plays or whatever and it was like 15 minutes a game or something it was pretty it was pretty slick for the time then I had a bunch of store credit and stuff so I was just like you know, doing like standard tournaments and booster drafts and just all kinds of stuff. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's fine. 
I hit her with... She stays, and I hit her one more time. I'm going to make sure this doesn't get pushed in, though. I'm going to try, at least. Fuck, she's going to get me, isn't she? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Uh, I guess I should have flashed faster. Once she had that auto going, I shouldn't have flashed, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I was just doing all that stuff. I was playing basketball all the time, friends. Magic, cranking like Diablo 2. And Starcraft. Had this girlfriend, and we had a great uh, physical relationship. Had a lot of friends. I was like hanging out with. Most of the classes in school were okay. Like that was that was it, man. That was good. My times are still good, you know, for being honest. But that was just cool. There was just a lot of a lot of things going on that were cool. paintball i never i wanted to get into paintball i never like went and played somewhere but i like got a just like an amateur paintball gun and i thought other people were going to uh we're gonna like buy in on it too but like no one ever did so we just like shot it off outside a couple times and you know but never really did anything major it's really fun yeah it seems fun <laughs> I'd say so. Did nothing during high school. I was pretty lucky. I had a pretty good old friend circle. Like, high school was pretty good for me. None of my schools are really that bad. If I had to pick one that was worse, I'd probably say middle school. But... Middle school wasn't that bad. The Do what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a pain in the ass unless she gets ganked. Wukong doesn't gank that well, pre-6. He's kind of far behind, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, middle school is alright. It's just the, the school itself, like the teachers are just garbage. Especially now that I am a teacher and I just think about like the way they manage their class. There were like a couple, but man, they were... This is kind of a tough school though, too. It wasn't like super ghetto or anything, but it's probably some tough students to deal with. But still, it's like, I don't know. I had four teachers like either quit or get fired out of the six in my hallway in eighth grade. <laughs> One got, like, pregnant and left. The other one, like, broke her leg somehow and left. I mean, none of those are really, like, you know, bad reflections of character. But one of them came on, um... I don't even know. Like, rumor had it. He, like, came on campus drunk and was, like, ranting about the government or something. And it got fired. And I don't remember why the other one got fired. I think he just left. There was, like, the... History teacher that replaced the drunk history teacher. I think I've shared this story before on here. I don't remember, but it was just like... He was trying to make a web page, and this was like in the mid-90s or maybe late 90s. And, um... A friend of mine in class was just like a big computer nerd and like knew how to do that kind of stuff really well when it was still like kind of a new science. A lot of people didn't know it. And so he just let him go back there and design the teacher a web page and he got to pick one assistant and he picked me because I was friends with him and we just sat over there and just fucked around and just joked around with the teacher I, did, I didn't do anything I was just like comic relief I didn't even know anything about web pages but I would like go get them both candy out of the vending machine and stuff and then he just gave us an A on everything like we never took a test never had to read anything and then my other friend, who was just, like, normally in the class, was like, don't you think that's kind of weird that you, like, don't have to do any of the readings or take the tests? I'm like, yeah, probably, but 
<laughs> Whatever, I guess. It's American education at its finest there. Mm, okay, yeah, I think it'll crash. Might stop right outside. No, yeah, it'll get the melees. Okay, it'll push out. Uh, Fizz and Talia. I guess I gotta get Mercs. But yeah, so middle school just for that reason, but and just kind of awkward middle school stuff. But to be honest, it was it wasn't that bad. I had a pretty good circle of friends in all three schools from all kinds of different interests and uh, walks of life and stuff like that. So I'm usually of the persuasion. It doesn't really matter too much what I'm doing. As long as I have good company, it'll be fun. His dad owned the field, spent a lot of time out there. Nice. Oh, okay, with the paintball. That's cool. I mean, I didn't really make great grades my senior year. I made good grades most of the other years, but that was that was rough. I was taking really advanced classes, but I was like barely passing them too. Oh my god. That silence is such a pain in the ass. I wish someone would come down here and gank this, but they're not going to do it. No kidding, right? Just play around and get the orn fed. Let's feed the tank. Yeah, it is shutting down Nasus, which is nice, but... Like, the Soraka would be so easy to kill, especially when she burned her flash, but... I mean, I guess it's not, like, super urgent. We outscale them. Well... You outscale Neela, but Soraka kind of outscales me. It depends on the situation. And if she dies or not. If she doesn't die in a fight, it's going to be tough. Oh, I got to remember. I got to get uh, Oblivion Orb, too. I got to stop what I'm doing and get that next bag. It's like Soraka's the one support where that's like her whole identity. It could be in this brush. I don't think so, though. All right, yeah, I'll just push this. That's fine. Alright. Good. There we go. We got the gang. Uh oh. Nice. Ballin'. <laughs> the snipe. Yeah, you hit the W, though. That was a really important one. Yeah, I'm just going to back up. It's fine. Um, yeah, I was, I was pretty lucky in many ways. There, there are ups and downs and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I think just having the good good friends ended up making it worthwhile. And I was, you know, I was kind of gangly and awkward and nerdy. But somehow, I don't know. I just never really felt that self-conscious, though, either. I was just, you know, kind of embrace it and just had fun with it. I didn't take myself too seriously at all. Because I was like the class clown. I mean, pretty much almost every year in like K-12. through It's kind of goofing around. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like some of my friends, like this one guy in particular that I've mentioned who moved to New York. He's actually moving back. I'm really hype about it. He and his wife or his uh, new wife are coming back down here, which is cool. I think it'll be a lot, a lot better for him mentally, but. Just somehow we went to the same elementary school and met in second grade, and he was just like this very wealthy guy that was like really good looking, popular dudes, very sociable, and I don't know, we just hit it off. We had a very similar sense of humor, even though we came from kind of different backgrounds, and you know, I've been friends with him for, I don't even know, 30 plus years at this point, and I guess through that, I had a bunch of social connections sort of in high school, so that kind of helped. But I also had a bunch of friends that, you know, smoked a lot of weed and didn't do so well and were kind of poor, you know, in school too. So I just kind of had, you know, friends from everywhere and everything in between. Nerds, stoners, jocks, rich people. Um, yes, you don't have to recall to the fountain to upgrade the sport item. Yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, you can do it on the spot. You just have to be out of combat for so long, like five seconds or something. There's Soraka Acidy here, right? Is she not? Yeah, there she is. Oh, damn, I really want to go on her, but I'm afraid something bad's going to happen. If I try to flash W her. Where is... I don't know where Tilly is. Okay, Silas is coming down to dive this, maybe. It's going to be a little bit late, but... Uh, Fizz is coming too. Yeah, it's... There's any universe I could have got you out of that point. Freaking Soraka ult. Was pretty tanky. Oh my gosh, this Wukong actually got Black Cleaver? Hold up. Yeah. Well, and helps everybody else do damage. Not only is it a very good item for him personally, like, it's extremely good for the rest of the team because he stacks it, like, instantly. So it's going to help you do a lot more damage, too, when he goes in. Uh, am I going to die here? Maybe. <laughs> and we out, hopefully. In before Fizz. I've got Flash. Fizz. Okay, Orn's coming. Okay, after she loses that, I can go in. Wukong's almost got his ult. Let's just, let's just roll out, I think. 
No, they're gonna hold that. We can come back down and get it in a minute. We're just too low. Um, hey, Faded, have you done the uh, Sunken Temple raid yet? Heard it's pretty spicy. Like, the numbers were just, like, crazy. Like, I think they nerfed it, but, like, some of the bosses had, like, more health than, like, Black Temple bosses. Now, the power level is up a lot, too, so that's not, like, a super fair comparison. Because you've got all these new runes and items. Okay. I heard it was, like, it just, like, extremely overtuned. <laughs> Which some people complain about that. I know Asmongold is like, you should never have to nerf a boss. It should just be released good enough for the entire public. I'm like, who cares? Just let people do their little world first for a week. Everybody gets excited about it, and then they just nerf it. Like, what? who, who cares if you can't down it the first week if you're a casual? Like... Now, if they kept it that way for a long time, that's a problem. It's a little different in Classic because there aren't, like, different modes. Right? Like, there aren't different difficulty levels. I think if there's a Mythic difficulty level and a Normal and a, like, Heroic, it's fine. If you don't clear Mythic, that's fine. Like, that's supposed to be hard. I don't think it's... You should design Mythic around every casual Timmy being able to clear it. There's other modes where you see the same content, basically. I think that's fine. I never really cleared Mythic that much. I think I cleared, like, one or two Mythic bosses on, uh, like, Warlords. Um, but I still had fun with Heroic. I kind of did wish that I did clear Mythic, but... Sick of the sweaties. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty bad, like, the min-maxing. and Like, I get it. People want smooth clears and but people kind of do overdo it i think wanting everybody to have just like crazy experience oh, fuck damn talia just fucking melted him can we kill her she get gromp no she's over there huh Nasus shows up. I just, I'm gonna shadow Wukong for a little bit, I guess. Alright, so we can find something to do. It's fucking annoying. Are we really, are they gonna pressure us off of that? I guess so. God. Where'd everybody else go? What happened to that rumored uh, teleport? I guess he is getting towers. GG, lost the fight. Yeah, it's so, it such a weird situation. What is uh, ESO? I've been thinking about doing FF14 when the new expansion comes out, or maybe even a little beforehand. I thought about letting Rory play it with me. I'd have to get her, like, a PS5. Um, I did see that you can actually play indefinitely for free like the older stuff I 
think we just give. Just. Maybe steal. I mean, they're going to let him walk up. See, they could get Baron now. That's the problem. They're all just going to chase Silas instead, though, hopefully. Baron or they're probably doing it really slowly I mean Talia does have mask okay they backed one somebody backed maybe we can do it I mean they do have three down Let's just get it. Oh, Elder Scrolls. Okay, yeah, I haven't looked at that too much. Man, there's just so many games I would like to play. It's just life. If I could do it with Rory, though, that'd be double double duty. But yeah, Final Fantasy 14 will let you level up to like level 70. Play every almost everything for free. You just can't trade. And I think it disables chat for most people, probably so that people can't get free accounts with bots, is my guess. Um, but that's fine. I don't want her to be able to talk to anybody anyways. So, just to, I just want her, she just loved to like walk around and just collect stuff or see these little creatures or just play little games and like little mini games and stuff at the Golden Saucer. Oh, okay. You don't have to have a sub to play. Okay, that's enticing. I'll see. There's also a Warhammer DLC coming out, which is cool. They uh, disabled, like, the old school partner program, and they're making it, like, a lot more exclusive, I think. So I'll have to reapply and see if I can get it for early access. And I didn't have to buy any DLC. They just gave me the games in the DLC. Which I think is smart to promote. I feel like it, if it's anybody over like 10,000 subs, like why not? It's a small investment, but. I don't know if, I don't know if we want this, man. I fucking miss that. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. Silas wasn't there. I don't know. We shouldn't have been. I didn't even notice Silas was dead. I should have just pinged everybody back. At least they can't take Baron. We got Soul up in a moment. We have really good scaling. I mean, Silas is powerful. Like, we just can't be doing dumb shit. Okay. got uh knight's file i need to get that there we go 
probably just put that on Silas or Wukong. We'll see, since they have so much regeneration. I don't know why Silas is trying to 1v1 her. Okay, I guess that's why. Just chasing Warren. I mean, Macro has been pretty garbage with both teams this game, so. Been sitting here telling old man stories, not paying attention to shit. Wow, no one kills Starwalker? Oh my god, I fucking mistimed it. Here, come here, give me a jump, give me a jump. Shit, run. Okay. I'm not, I have no idea how we didn't kill Soraka. I guess somebody got zoned off or people just weren't like paying attention to it. Soraka is a fucking menace. I mean, it's basically a carry late game. Like you have to, you have to kill her. She's put up too much numbers. Uh, I mean, they're all gonna be in there probably. It's Orn though. Okay, Fizz is bottom. Why can't we just get Baron? I guess I'll just hold. Let's get a box. I guess I'll just get the box. A little more immediate power. Okay, well, that's good. Nice.
He withered me. That's funny. Talia is a fucking pest, but we ended up pulling it off. Alright, I probably shouldn't, but I'll, I'll do one more if Jason wants to. I'll do it for the stream. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you need to log, I'm not going to be upset if I have to log too. No, we're fine. Okay. It's because I only did one last night. I really should probably go to sleep, but... Aw, oh, damn it, I got promoted! Okay. We'll just have to FF20. Jason's Jason was not Silas. Jason has been playing on a gin lately. Crap, I forgot to get on um Guess it doesn't matter too much now. Okay, you just can't get you can't get demoted though, because I'm back in Emerald. <laughs> You've been winning a lot lately. I meant to get on the other account and keep this one in in platinum, but I forgot to switch. Actually, let me go ahead and switch now, just real quick. Let me switch over to the other one. I'll be right back. Um, just because the other one, I think, is at, like, 80 LP, so, like, demoting that one will be a lot harder. Um, they're very similar uh, this is not the new like yeah 1417 Okay, come on, let's play. Things not loading in. Arena comes back on fourteen ten. Okay, yeah, I didn't I didn't watch the announcement thing. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I should have done this before, but when I was still like P it, like the second that Jason got to platinum, I should have switched over to this account. But yeah, cause this one's at seventy-one. <laughs> Nine wins. I've only played probably twenty games on this account. I gotta get my honor five rewards, guys. another token for another Warwick skin or Twitch skin. It's not even a skin. It's like a chroma of a skin that's been the same reward for like 10 years. Sure. look at these changes again I looked at them before but tanks are a little on the weaker side except for all the tanks being played in pro I mean I guess there aren't but there are right I was going to say there aren't that many tanks but there are right you've got Cassante top Zach top Rek'Sai top I mean Rek'Sai has been nerfed I don't know if she's still played top on current patch um there are quite a few tanks. Ooh, deer, Orn. So yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Maybe in solo queue. Tank junglers most draft should be less prevalent. Again, probably not in pro. Sejuani's very popular. I mean, there's a good mix. I don't think tanks are necessarily, like, 
OP, but also don't think they're bad. Okay, so here they're saying tank junglers should be less prevalent, but they're trying to get a few more carry junglers back into the mix. It's like, wait a minute, didn't you just say that tanks were going to fall off? I don't know. So doesn't that mean that there should just be more carries picked naturally without buffs? Um, according to that reasoning. Unless I'm misunderstanding it. AP junglers are lacking presence. Is that true? Diana is pretty popular. Okay, I guess that's a fair point. There aren't that many AP junglers. Volibear is like sort of AP. Okay, like Evelyn's. Evelyn's okay. Talia's sometimes played in the jungle, but not a ton. Gragas, not typically. Yeah, what's up? You ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Brand kind of fell off the jungle. I got that's a fair point about AP, but carry junglers are still very popular, especially in solo queue. But even in pro, like Gleason, Diego, um, Vi, all that stuff's pretty popular. Tupac's music is trending. The man's been dead 30 years. He's already still trending. Is that good? Um, he is very good. He's probably one of my favorite rappers for sure. Uh, okay, let's see what they're doing here. Again, so Akali, a little more health. Okay, I mean, Akali is an interesting champ if she's not, like, overtuned. Like, her kit is interesting. There's a lot of, like, a decent amount of counterplay, at least to her little shuriken flip and her Q. Draven plus 5 Q damage. Draven's already, like, pretty decent in terms of snowball. Um, the crit buffs probably help him, although I don't know, lethality nerfs might hurt him. Pink black is a crime these days. Yeah? I mean, d wait, do you live in... I thought you lived in an area that was like predominantly black though. Like a Caribbean island, or am I misremembering that? Or maybe I just don't know the racial dynamics of the island. But I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm not black. I feel like, you know, in the continental U.S., it definitely still is a problem. It still is a problem in a lot of places, but... I think at Jamaica... Is there a large, like, white population in Jamaica? Okay. I just don't know. I've never been there. Um... I guess it doesn't have to be a large population to still exert a large amount of control. See, like, colonialism. Um, there are the cast again. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Chinese. I didn't really know there'd be a big Chinese presence. Yeah, I mean, it's tough out there. I think there's at least a lot of visibility and people, you know, working to make the situation better. I think it's probably one of the better times um, from Cool Runnings, yeah. One of the better times, I guess it's debatable to be black in American history. Like, there's still a lot of problems, but obviously way better than slavery. Pro like, probably way better than um, post-slavery pre-Martin Luther King and still probably better than the Martin Luther King era so it's like it's still bad I think but it's like I think at least taking steps in the right direction or at least awareness <clears throat> so just because it's improving doesn't mean it's great but at least it's kind of trending in the right direction This account was cursed 
last season, so hopefully it's not cursed here. We'll see. <laughs> What's up, Sam? So yeah, I'm not sure if it's worse to play on this account or not, because it's like desync from the other account. Like, if we lose three, you can get demoted, but I won't. Or something like that on this account. But then on the other one, I would get demoted when you get demoted. So maybe I should have played on the other one and kept it synced up. I don't know. I didn't really think it through that well. I was just thinking that, like, if you get demoted, then it's easier for me to demote the other account than this one. But... Just win, yeah. Just win, baby, win. <laughs> Dodge on this account every day. I guess that's true. Yeah, I mean, you can just dodge on it till I got it down to <laughs> zero LP and then lose a game. Their team's pretty degenerate. They're all... They're basically... Well, no, they have AP with Way. Yeah, that's, that's an annoying-ass team over there. Our team's okay. I don't, I don't know about Karma. Yeah, he's really annoying. I feel like I'm just... I play awkward against that champion, and then it always ends up landing the abilities on me, and I just die. Feels like that way. Yeah. Wait, shit. What the fuck? They have, like, three people that were Diamond last season on their team. The hell is that? Dude, this Kha'Zix is gonna just destroy me. <laughs> it's man dingo. What? His name is Mandingo. Uh oh. <laughs> then I am gonna get destroyed. Boys. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It's the legend himself. The legend himself. <laughs> and they got some Chinese characters. Yeah, no one knows what we're talking about, I'm sure. No, no one knows who Mandingo is. Of course not. If you're an administrator from my school, I definitely don't know who that is. So, I just heard the kids talking about it. I didn't know what they were saying. Just crazy kid stuff. Um, humans will never understand our kind until they hear the song. It's always weird switching accounts because, like, my settings are like slightly different. It's like the uh, I think my UI is slightly smaller on this account. It's like not a lot. Uh, he he could really go anywhere. He could go blue. I doubt he would. Blue Kane. If he blue Kane pretty quick, be really good here. Oh, yeah. Kane goes Raptors 100%. I thought you meant Kha'Zix for a second. Like, Kha'Zix. His Q, his Q hits Moss is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think he, he almost certainly has to do that. I mean, he really, really wants to do it. That's an interesting choice going Golems next. I wonder if that gives him level 3 or not. Amelia wouldn't touch in the wave. I'm getting impatient. It's kind of weird. Like, you don't want to use a charge trading because then you can't execute a minion with it. So you lose push by trading if you have a stack. That's kind of a weird dynamic. Oh, what the hell? How'd that not bounce anywhere? Uh-oh. 
You there? Okay. Oh my god. I'm here. Okay. Okay, Kha'Zix is coming down around Crab. He could be wrapping around Tri-Bush, I doubt it, but... Yeah, no, actually he is there. Oh, <laughs> I know if you're on live there or not. That's all good. Cast! Cossix isn't up there, so he's probably down here, so you gotta be a little careful. Okay, actually, he is up there. Okay, do I have to get Mercs? Ash? Oh my god. Or Tabbies. I mean, Tabbies are pretty good against Ash, too. Carmen just feels like this garbage ass champ, man. I don't. Uh. I have a lot of AD. I probably have to go Tabbies, I think. I do get a lot of armor from Knight's Vow, but... I guess Wei, Wei does have a fear, too. It's like some, like... A pretty long time, I think. So may, I guess I do have to get merch. Okay, fleet. Oh, God, shouldn't die from that. Mm. Get healing, watch. Or healing, ghost. Or right. Ghost and flash. Flash, Sorry. yeah. It's not buffed more, no.
Okay, that's good. Sure, you guys got it. You don't have to ward that bad. I got three. I got a I got Just trying to get Wade to come back down here. Waste his time. Can you beat him? Come on, Mord, baby. Let's do it. Oh! Nice. I'm running. I'm running to you. Give me a jump. Give me a jump. Give me a jump. Okay. Karma needs to hard push that. There you go. Did they arrow you? Did. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I looked top for a second. I guess I missed it. We got six scrubs, so that's pretty nice. He's going middle. Alright. I'm just gonna back. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Doing pretty well. Camille's kind of becoming a problem, but. Alright, give me another one. To fight over vision. Dante suggests build Knight's Vow plus Abyssal on tanky jungle and top. Yeah, definitely as a jungler. I don't know about top. Top might be a little extreme. Maybe Abyssal Mask. Because that's good, anyways. Knight's Vow, you really need to be around other people. But it is still pretty good, yeah. I mean, it depends on the situation, what your role is in the game. But yeah, if you're a supporty jungler, if you're like a Sejuani or Rel did it, that's been the go-to for pros for a little bit. Okay, if they don't come over here immediately, we're going to get a lot of damage on those. Okay. Fine. Yeah, sure. You got it, bud. <laughs> and I got arrow. Uh, okay, yeah, they're still coming. I guess I got a flash. Alright, I'm just gonna back. You sh they should push this wave in you, so you should be able to catch it. He went invisible right when Kane popped out of him. That's what it was. Okay. Does he win that? Trade it? He at least trades it. That's not bad. Considering how far behind he was in that fight.
Okay. Wow, when the hell did they get a ward over there? I can rotate up there for that. I don't know. They're going to engage on you if I do, though. Uh, I... See if he's coming or not. Alright, I'm coming. Just careful. They might... I if we can... I'm not sure if we can beat him. Cut him off in the river. Shut down. They think they can catch me. Yeah, let's get this push in, I guess. Give him like so much notice. Get out of there, Karma. Camille's about to fly over that wall. Yeah, I just don't know that you necessarily want to get it, like, no matter what, all the time, top. Like, it depends on the champ and it depends on the situation. But yes, it is a good item. Maybe like a Zack or something. But you also need, like, Wave Clear. You need, like, Sunfire. But maybe if you can get two or three armor items. But yes, I mean, it is good. Like I said, I think it's like junglers almost for sure you can do it. But... Top laners, I don't know. Also with like Orn, for example, you want to buy items that Orn can upgrade. I don't know if he can upgrade that item or not. I just I haven't seen it a lot on like your Rex eyes and your Zax at the uh, in like China, Korea, or um, Europe in high level play. We're gonna get collapsed, only gotta run. Should I be running? Yeah. I should probably be running. But yeah, I mean it, it can be good. Camille? Oh god, there she is. Found her. Uh, 
I mean, we were trying to leave, I think. I mean, she's got six kills and she's really fast, man. I know you didn't have anything to do with the six kills that she got on you in lane, but... She's got eight now. I don't know. I mean, may maybe we could have run out of there a little bit faster. I didn't know she'd be able to 1v3, but I mean, she does, you know, Blue Cane doesn't have any defense, so I mean, it kind of checks out. Damn, they got both dragons? Uh, maybe. Shut down. Yeah, we gotta come up here and try to stall him. Ash is not there yet. Yeah, let's drop a grenade on this, yeah. Hopefully we should be able to stall. Yeah, they're doing it pretty slowly. She dies it, right? Oh my god, no. Okay, Blue Cane's here, though. Let's just kill them all. Alright. I should have gotten Tabby. Um, Frozen Heart wouldn't be bad as the third item here. Man, it's not even close now with Mord versus her. Holy sh... Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here! With Diana? Yeah, there is no Diana. <laughs> Maybe with Wei, if that's who you meant. But Wei's like not that fat, he's really far behind. I mean, it's like Ash Arrow... Um, Camille is going to be extremely hard to deal with. Oh, they're really on Baron? Okay. Where did Ka Okay, we got Kha'Zix, but... I got Dragon, too. Ugh. Yeah, they're pushing top.
god. Oh, she's just gonna run me down though, probably. Uh. <clears throat> Who's their midway? He's kind of a newer chant. He's kind of like an emo artist to, sort of dude. He's like... He's got a lot of different things he can do. He's got like a... He can cast like each ability sort of twice. And like co different combinations or different spells. So like QQ, QW, QE, WQ, WW, WE. So he's got like nine different basic spells. But he's mostly like a long range poke blaster type of champ. Okay, I got you. Yeah, he does. I think it's like a paintbrush or something. Um, yeah, he's kind of like Zerath esque with a lot more complexity. Oh my god, here, give me a jump. Okay, she's dead there, right? The fuck was Karma? Still, yeah, it's like all AD. Let's get Frozen Heart next, I guess. It's, he might be getting Frozen Heart. I don't know if he's getting Frozen Heart or Warden's Mail. I guess if he gets Frozen Heart, I can get something else with armor or sell it. Uh, he probably is fun. Which, I mean, that soul is not great. Obviously, we don't want to give him any kind of soul, but... Uh, they're going to be waiting. Actually, Emilio's right there. That means they're not all there yet. Okay, there's Ash Arrow. Is Blue Cane dead? Yeah, Camille. I just don't know how we fucking beat her. my shield okay can we it's an ace I can heal you got a plan over here too all right I'm back nice We're actually kind of killing her now, sort of. That was tough. Does he have Frozen Heart? Yeah, now he just bought it. Okay, so... 
What can I buy instead? I guess just redemption then. I'll just sell that. Let's get redemption. I should have looked at his items. He had a Warden's Mail, and I guess really the only thing you would buy on Mord with a Warden's Mail would be Frozen Heart. You're not going to get Randoins versus their team. I mean, it is a good item, but they are mostly AD. So, I don't know. It's like, what else are you going to get if you want an armor item? I mean, she does do a lot of true damage. So, I don't know. More AP might be better. He is kind of our main front line, though. He could go Thorn Mail. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know. It really should be me getting that item, probably. I'm gonna try to give Blue Cane some vision so he can maybe assassinate somebody. Can we send like four people after her? Is she gonna run? Collapsing. Okay, can you get him? Um. I mean, I don't have ult. Camille plus Melio is pretty brutal. Oh, God. I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to let Kha'Zix get away right there. I thought you were going to follow me with the Kha'Zix, but... He stayed to help the Karma. We're just all kind of on a different page. But maybe I'll let Kha'Zix go, and then... I don't know if I could have even... Maybe if I stick around long enough to peel. Maybe... I don't know, this Camille is just like... Like an unkillable... With Melio near. I mean, if there's like four of us there, we can kill him. But... He's really the only threat, though. Like, major threat on their team. Oh, they stopped? No, they did, Baron. Okay. Damn it. This motherfucker. I cannot believe he got away again. Nice. Jesus 
Christ. Alright. Can we... Oh, I guess a bunch of people are dead. Okay. What? Where the fuck was that? I went mean, that brush. Okay. on the tower. Obviously, I'm not going to do much to Drake. Oh, Cossix is still dead, though. I mean, if they... Well, I'm going to say, if they try to push that wave out... Okay, yeah, but it's just her. She's dead. Two. Oh my god, I missed the jump! I was probably dead anyways, but... Jesus H. Really have to... Like, Mord's the only person that can do any damage to that Camille. I mean, if they stop backs... Nah, uh, they gotta get out now. I think. Mill's just gonna fucking run everybody. Emilio. <clears throat> if Karma just like did actual damage. I mean she's done some damage, I guess, but Do I sell this and just get another big item? I mean, what would help? I'll think about it. What would help versus Camille? Um. Yeah. I mean, attack speed or... Um, I mean, Mandate would do more damage. Mandate did just get nerfed. The mandate's like, that's not enough damage to matter at this point in the game. Shirelia's could speed people up to Kiter. here? Wade just threw a shot from somewhere like in the other side of the universe at me. Kha'Zix hopefully doesn't jump over this wall at me. Wade's here. Or somewhere. Again. Within three screens of me, I guess. <laughs> the range on that shit's ridiculous. No, we can't end. Oh, I need to pressure Baron. Fuck. Like. They're gonna get Baron now, and they're gonna have Camille. Probably just gonna run everybody down and end the game here. Like, 
I don't know why we weren't just doing Baron. I thought it was obvious. I guess I should have pinged it a lot more. Champ, dude. Bless, dude. That fucking champion, man. Alright, I guess I'm selling that and... Ability power, movement speed. Shirelia's? Nobody really uses ability power that much on the team. I don't know. Do I just get upgraded box just for more stats? I guess I just get that. For multiple control wards. Oh, that's cool, Faded. Yeah, a lot of... Just blue-collar work, trying to fix that. I don't know. I, I couldn't think of an item, like, that would really matter that much. Really? We didn't even kill the Ash? Okay, well I guess we're giving him Baron. The fucking double Melio shield with his ult. It's just like a thousand burst protection. We just don't have... Like, if Karma was a real champ, like a Cassiopeia or Talia, just anything that did damage. I don't know. It'll probably show she did like 60,000 damage at the end of the game. Like, poke damage, but... I don't know what what other items I could have bought here. I mean, I guess I could get the claw. It would CC her more. But... Ardent Sensor gives, like, attack speed. I'm not sure if that matters. rough god we if we would have just stepped back and picked up that baron i don't know if we would have won but it certainly would have uh helped out instead of just pushing up mid and getting caught i thought i thought everyone was doing that but then i was like over there i put a control ward on it and i was like clearing their ward and then i look up and everybody's like <laughs> pushing the base i should have just spam pinged it a lot more god the camille had eighty five thousand damage that was one of the biggest 1v9s I've seen in a long time. But, anyways, okay, well, 50-50. Um, but that's got to be it for me tonight. Hopefully we can keep it rolling tomorrow. Buddy. Sir, I'll see you. Okay, well, that's got to be it for me. I stayed, I stayed out too late, but I was trying to give you guys at least two games. Hopefully someday I'll eventually get caught up in everything and I can get on a bit earlier. And, you know, maybe go crazy and play three games. We'll see. Um, during the summer, hopefully I can play a little bit more. I still have to get up early and take the kids in. But it's not as early. They have to be there by 9. So I could stay up a little bit later. But And I could sleep during the day a bit more, too. But um, anyways, um, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. That sounds really cool, Faded. I wish I was good with cars. I'm terrible. And that's one thing my wife, like, 
handyman type of stuff my wife doesn't do. Like she can do plumbing, install floors, minor electrical, you know, install cabinets, do carpentry stuff. But the um, that's one thing that she doesn't do is cars for some reason. But anyways, um, that's it. Thank you very much. Have a good day, and we'll see you back next time.